My name is Tyler Lloyd. I'm the Assistant Swim Team Director here at the YMCA. Here at the Y, we have a lot of swim programs. Uh, the pool is a big focus of the Y here. Um, we have the best pool in the state for a reason. Um, we have swim lessons that operate throughout the entire year from ages six months all the way up to adults. Um, every month of the year except for December. We have a learn to swim water safety program that runs throughout the school year where every second grader in Caddo Parish comes to the Y and are given four days of instruction. They're given um, in water instruction and out of water instruction each of those days on how to be safer around pools and how to be safer around water that they're gonna go to in open water like lakes, oceans, and rivers that are around here. So we see every second grader, which is pretty cool. Um, we have our swim team where kids, once they start getting hooked into swimming lessons and understanding how to do that, they want to learn how to swim fast, which is fun. So we have that. The ranges and ages, our youngest swimmers are four um, all the way up to 18. We have some college swimmers that come back and swim with us also. Uh, other programs that we have in the water, um, we do, besides learn to, besides um, programs learning how to swim, we also have programs for all different kinds of disabilities and kids that come in, um, adults and everyone. So. The importance for anyone to learn to swim is huge, especially here in Shreveport and Louisiana specifically, because Louisiana unfortunately is uh, number three for the most drownings each year in the United States, which is not a stat that we want to be proud of. So um, that's because we have so much water all around us. Um, everyone's into going out and fishing and boating and doing things, um, swimming pools, it gets hot here. Um, we have water around us, we need to know how to swim. We need to be comfortable around the water. So if you're ever in a situation where you see someone that's struggling and you suspect that they might be drowning, if they are in a vertical position in the water and they are not making any progress towards one side or the other, they're in a drowning position. Being vertical in the water is not a position to, to get to safety. You're gonna, you're gonna be drowning, they're gonna be struggling, and they need help sooner than later. So if you see someone that's in the water and they're vertical and they're splashing around the water, you call out to them, say, do you need help, do you need help? If they can't respond or they're still struggling, they need assistance. So that's how you can tell if someone's drowning. In indoor pools, just like anywhere, you need to make sure that uh, you have someone there to supervise you or that's with you. Uh, you have a buddy, someone, okay? You never wanna swim alone. You always want to ask permission before you go swim somewhere. If you're swimming in an indoor pool or you're swimming in a pool at your apartment complex or in the city pool, even if there's a lifeguard, you need to have someone else that's paying attention to you and knows where you are so that if you do get in trouble, they're there. Drownings do happen even though there are lifeguards there. That's why lifeguards are there a lot of the time. They prevent a lot, but sometimes they have to jump in because someone's actually drowning. It's important to have a buddy. That's one, one big reason. The beach and the ocean and open water, there are um, currents and dangers that you cannot always see. And so if you are not a strong swimmer, you need to make sure that you're prepared with wear a life jacket. Something that will, a good flotation device that is not going to be able to wash away from you. Swim in areas that you know are safe, that have guards, that are present on beaches that have lifeguards. Pay attention to warning signs. Uh, at beaches, they will tell you where, what areas are safe. They usually have flags that will explain what currents are happening at the time so that you can stay in safe areas. Um, always have a buddy. Um, never go in water that is uncomfortable to you. If you cannot swim, do not float. Don't float in an area that is that you can't swim in if you're uncomfortable. So unless you have a life jacket, you don't need to be in over your head if you're not a strong, comfortable swimmer. Wear a life jacket. Find one that is approved and fits properly. Um, go in water 
that when you're wading in the ocean that is not getting up above your waist. Make sure that those in your party know where you're at and ha have eye contact with you so that you don't get lost. How can you help your kids become better swimmers is a big thing. Um, around here, particularly in Shreveport, uh, we have um, a lot of places that you can take your children for swim lessons. Here at the YMCA, we do them year round, but we have a lot, especially in the summertime, a lot of places that you can go to teach them lessons. I think it's important that as a parent, even if you're not comfortable with the water, you understand that there are safe environments for your children to learn how to swim and you should show them that these areas are safe and that if they have an instructor with them they can learn how to swim and not have to be scared of it. Uh, there is a generational fear that's instilled in children uh, when a parent doesn't know how to swim whether they mean to or not they'll instill that fear in their child and it's understandable because you don't want your kid to be in the water if you can't get in and help them, but you want them to be able to get to an age where they're older and they don't get put in a situation where they feel peer pressure to get in water when they're uncomfortable around the water. Go find somewhere that teaches lessons and have them, have them learn how to swim. That's, that's just the most important thing you could do for your kid. There are too many drownings in young kids uh, in Louisiana and in Shreveport, it's a preventable cause of death and uh, we, we need to make sure that we prevent it. Whether you know how to swim or not if, you're not, if you're not trained to go in like a lifeguard and rescue someone, you do not need to jump in the water after them. What's going to happen is the person that's drowning, no matter how close a family member or a friend, all they want to do is get air. So they are going to grab onto you immediately and pull you under the water and try to get air to breathe and then you're going to be under the water struggling with them and then instead of one person drowning there's two people drowning. The first thing you want to do is try to reach out to them. Uh, you do that by getting down low to the ground, get on your belly, reach out to them with your hand. If they're too far away from your hand, look around and find anything that can extend your reach. A pole, a stick, uh, pants, shoes, shirt. Anything that you can use to extend your reach and get out there to them, use to reach. The second thing that you would do if you can't reach them is to throw something out to them that floats. You can find a pool noodle, a life jacket, a floaty, a basketball, um, a cooler, anything that can help them get above the water to breathe a little bit, throw it out to them. Um, and then the third step is you still don't jump in the water. You call 911 and you get somebody out there to help as fast as possible. But you don't want to, we've had the tragedy that happened on the Red River years ago. One goes in after the other and it just compounds the, compounds the problem. And it, it just, more than one person ends up drowning and it's just really sad. So reach, throw, don't go, call 911. That's what we teach all our second grade kids. So to get information about the program at the Y, you can call up here our front desk knows what's going on um, you can come up and talk to them at the front desk and for those that are uh, thinking well swim lessons are too expensive or whatever we have uh, programs that are available to, to you to cut that cost in half um, so that this can be available to everybody so we want the community to, to be safer around the water